Consolidation Service and PWT. This is a consolidation service. This service means to collect a less than container load, LCL, and unitize each container into the full container load, FCL. Port consolidation means a service that transports cargo only to the destination port. Multi-consolidation is a service demanding cargo at the des destination port and delivering it to each importer. The purpose of consolidation is to facilitate the shipment of the LCL, reduce costs such as freight cost, incidental cost, and warehouse charge, and facilitate unloading the transportation for that cargo. There are porters consolidation, buyers consolidation, and shippers consolidation. However, shippers consolidation is not used on site. This is a picture of the empty container stop and bend through a forklift and manpower and sealed. This is a picture of porters consolidation. This is the process of collecting cargo from multiple exporters at the container freight station, CFS, uniting them into FCL, chartering a ship from a shipping company, and transporting them to the discharging port, demanding them at the CFS of the destination port, and delivering them to each importer. Here, the bill of lading issued by the shipping company to freight porter is called the master BL, and the, the bill of lading issued by the freight porter to the exporter is called the house BL. This is a bias consolidation. This bias consolidation is a process that consists of multiple exporter and one buyer. This process collect the LCL from multiple individual exporters, loaded them into one container, unit the container into FCL, and transport it to the place designated by the importer. In this process, export customs careers is handled by each exporter. However, since the importer consists of one buyer, Import customs clearance is handled by one importer. Bias consolidations has its own advantage at the place of shipment and destination. At the place of shipment, this process reduces inland transportation costs by having each supplier carry out multiple shipments at once through a designated contract ship with the CFS. Since the entire cargo is negotiated, it is possible to reduce the cost by means of a lowering storage fee. The process also has the advantage that each supplier can transfer cargo to CFS by specifying the inventory function without owning a separate storage place. At the destination, the process has the advantage of securing the stability of a cargo by directly delivering full containers without debanning them and reducing transportation costs through shortened transportation time and combined transport. I told you that you can save money by using consolidation service. There are various costs but I'll compare them only with the sea freight and port charge and others to allow you to understand easily. The standard is that the export cargo is 5 CBM, 1 CBM is 1 meter width, 1 meter length, and 1 meter high volume cargo. 25 CBM can be loaded in a 20 dry container. The exchange rate is at 1,200 Korean won to 1 US dollar, and the cargo is tra transported from Busan port to Tokyo port. A total of Korean won 
518,506 is incurred for transportation in a 20 dry container, and a total cost of Korean war 245,015 is incurred for LCL consolidation. It can be seen that LCL consolidation save about 270,000 won. T time is a trend time and it, it is number of sailing days from Busan port to Tokyo port, which takes three days. T times depend on ship. For example, the T time for a ferry ship take one day from Busan port to Tokyo port. This is a video about consolidation service provided by the company Damco. Damco is an international freight forwarder. You can easily understand the consolidation service. The main content is that companies in many industries are responding to rapidly changing customer behavior by shortening their product life cycle and keeping stock levels low, resulting in gross, growing number of small size order. This is turn leads to escalating transport costs. Damco LCL programs brings the potential economy of scales and the associate cost benefit of FCL shipment to shipper of LCL cargo. To respond to rapidly changing customer demands, many companies are shortening product life cycles and keep stock levels low. As a consequence, they often deal with an increasing number of small-sized shipments that don't fill a container, with escalating transportation costs as a result. For companies with frequent smaller shipments, Damco's global Less Than Container Load, or LCL, program can offer significant economies of scale. It delivers services ranging from the coordination of single LCL shipments to advanced multi-country consolidation and provides full visibility and KPI reporting on your shipments at all times. Our LCL groupage containers assure that your cargo is shipped at competitive prices, optimal transit times and reliable lead times. Value-added optional services like customs clearance and inland logistics at origin and or destination make your LCL logistics even easier. Our flexible LCL solution is built upon our global network of offices and suppliers along with our extensive experience in LCL ocean cargo. For decades, we've been providing our customers wherever they are in the world with our innovative LCL solutions. This has made us one of the world's leading providers of less than container load shipments. Find out more about Damco's LCL program on damco.com slash LCL. This is a video about Ocean Freight LCL consolidation service. Shipping to USA provided by Scarborough Group. The main content of this video at that direct service quicker transit, reduced risk, track and trace, better visibility, customized communication, and competitive pricing. At Scarborough International, we have proudly earned our reputation as your trusted partner for international logistics. A global reach with locations and partners worldwide allows Scarborough to meet your needs anytime, anywhere. Among our many import services is our consolidated freight service. This express service saves you time and money by delivering your freight from ports all around the world directly into our U.S. bonded warehouses. So what exactly is our consolidated freight service? It's an ideal solution for clients who need a strategic supply chain advantage, clients who want to benefit from quick transit, easy tracking, cost savings, and continuous inventory movement without filling a full container of their own. Let's see how it works between two of the world's top tier transportation and logistics hubs, Shanghai and Kansas City, which is just one of our many express lanes. Once the vendor has your purchase order completed, he will contact Scarborough for a booking, and this is where your tracking visibility starts. 
The origin office, in this example Shanghai, will give the vendor instructions on how and when to deliver to the designated warehouse while developing a relationship and providing assistance along the way. Our designated warehouse will carefully load your valuable cargo into a container. This secured container will then be loaded with known cargo from multiple vendors of numerous Scarborough clients. Once filled, container doors will be shut and a high security seal will lock the container, ensuring the chain of custody. We will then deliver the container to the pier for lading on board one of our many vessel carriers. After the vessel's short journey to the west coast, the secured container is offloaded and sent directly to a Scarborough warehouse via rail, not to be reopened until it reaches us. Upon arrival to Scarborough's bonded warehouse, the high security seal is removed and the container is deconsolidated. Your cargo can then be loaded onto one of our trucks and delivered right to your door based on your preferences. So what makes us different? Our competitors will offload and deliver the container into a contracted container freight station where it waits its turn to be deconsolidated. Their cargo is then staged for departure awaiting a full truckload. After the cargo has been handled by several unrelated parties, it finally departs to the destination. So how does this benefit you? Well, you've already taken possession of your cargo while your competition is just beginning to move across the country. And because our containers are not reopened until they reach the Scarborough warehouse, fewer people touch your freight, meaning less risk of pilferage and damage. During this entire process, from the moment of booking through delivery to your door, you can track your shipment 24-7 online or at your fingertips on your mobile device. Scarborough's Consolidated Freight Service offers you cost savings while keeping your inventory moving with quick transit and easy tracking, giving you a clear strategic supply chain advantage. Scarborough's global network connects you to the world our streamlined solutions can save you time, fees, and hassle, all with a single point of contact. Scarborough International, your partner for international logistics. This is a bonded warehouse transaction, PWT. PWT is a transaction unit goods uh, warehouse in the important place by the exporter, seller, rather than dealing with international logistics after the conclusion of a sales contract. In this transaction, the sales contract is concluded after goods are brought into bonded warehouse at import destination. This is a sale in which goods are transported free of charge to a bonded warehouse in a trade country through consignment sales and are stored in a bonded warehouse without customs clearance per importer. Import. I will look at PWT in terms of export and importer. From the exporter perspective, there are risk of incurring losses due to the product deterioration and ocean freight, delayed payment collection and failure to sell in timely manner. However, the exporter accepts this risk and concludes the PWT. The reason is that the exporter can have the effect of free occupying the market with the confidence in the product and sample cash holding that will not affect the financial position if payment delayed. The importer has a low financial burden and can physically check and purchase the actual product. The import procedure is the simple as the goods are stored in the bonded warehouse at the import destination. In addition, it is a transaction that has the advantage where the importer can exactly expect the profit in spite of time difference as the goods are immediately available. Therefore, PWT is a win-win transaction for both importer and exporter. This is a container break work cement.
This is a shipping method in which bulk operations are carried out on a container ship. It can manage a regular schedule by using container ship for out of gauge and break bulk. After berthing on the ship, this process performing <coughs> shorting and lashing work. This process check the loading state of cargo and ship it according to the loading plan before shipment. It proceed with the procedure of attaching several friendly containers to the side and loading them on top. This is about out of gauge and break bulk. Out of gauge refers to cargo that exceed the loading criteria of standard containers. This is a cargo that can be loaded on a single frail leg or open top containers to be shipped on the container ship. And the length, width, and the height of the cargo exceed the dry container loading standard. This is a heavy weight cargo that exceed the max payload of a dry container where the load is concentrated. Brick bulk is a cargo that is not able to be loaded into a single planet container on a container ship due to the excessive size or weight of cargo. The cargo is loaded on top of planet containers attached side to side. This is a good transportation method for small bulk cargo or when the bulk carriers wiring schedule does not fit. This is a video about out of gauge and freak bulk at zero provided by Jaewan Zhang. As container ships becoming larger and larger, non-standardized oversized cargo handling on container ships steadily on the increase. Explain on the basic concept of oversized cargo handling on a container ship with the world like over with us, over height, out of gate, in gate, void slot, which you will hear for oversized cargo work.
This is the order of container fake fork shipment. 1. It load and place empty friendly containers on an empty ship. 2. It directly connect cargo with wire or band. 3. It place the cargo on the empty friendly container. 4. It performs rushing shoring work on the cargo to prevent the cargo from shifting during ship operation. This is a real case. This is a cargo transport is transported in cargo break work from the port of Rotterdam in the Netherlands to the Busan port. POL, POD uh, mean that port of loading and port of discharging. The cargo is a marine engine and each weighs 180 tons. This cargo was unloaded using a show crane at the loading and discharging port because it exceeded the loadable weight, about 100 ton of Genshul crane at the port of Rotterdam and the Busan port respectively. The cargo was delivered to importer by sea. Domestic transportation is mostly carried out inland transportation by truck in Korea. However, since the cargo was very heavy and the importer has a peer that could burst the body, this kind of transportation was made possible. As you know, the importer is a shipnard. This is a photo of loading and unloading the cargo on a barge using a short crane on a container ship after ar arriving at Busan port. A total of four marine engines were transported. This is a picture of the crankshaft transported from Busan port to Split port, Croatia. This cargo weighed 59 tons, so it was loaded discharged using gantry crane at the Busan port, at the loading port, and split port, the discharging port. If the cargo exceeded 60 ton, it had to be unloaded using a short crane at the split port. However, the cargo was 59 tons and could be unloaded using a gantry crane. Using a show crane has uh, this advantage of incurring a lot of cost and time. So it is not welcomed by a shipping company that value functionality. This is a picture of shipping a marine propeller from Hamburg port in Germany to Busan port. Since the body weight was 114 tons, the, this propeller was discharged using a show crane at both loading and discharging port. At Busan port, the cargo was discharged on a barge and delivered to the importer. The importer was a shipyard located in Gojedo Island. This is a transporter used a freight vehicle in shipyard. The weight was 57 ton, but the length was 16 meter. So it was loading or using a container break work shipment. A transporter is an equipment that the driver can ride and transport on its own. This cargo was transported by a container ship from the port of Bremerhaven port in Germany to Busan port. And it was discharged on a barge at Busan port and delivered to the importer. This cargo was a cargo contracted by an exporter and importer under the ex work term. The importer was responsible for the shipment when the cargo was delivered at the export factory or designated place. In other words, it was one of the dangerous and difficult transportation where the importer had to take responsibility for inland transportation in France and the sea transportation from France to Korea. This cargo weighed 52 tons, but it was 16 meters long. 
which made it difficult for inland transportation in France. This cargo was transported to a port of Le Havre through general road transportation plus barge transportation and then inland transportation. And it was transported using a container brakework from port of Le Havre to Busan port. This shipment required the process of unloading cargo on a barge at Busan port and delivering it to the importer through that barge transportation. It also took about three months to have a preliminary investigation for the shipment. This is a video about how to ship brick bulk as OOG by bespoke load solution. Plant Lane is a new innovation, innovative solution enabling you to ship cargo on container beds that ordinarily would have to be loaded as brick bulk cargo. Simpler, quicker, cheaper, flexible are just some of the reasons that make Plant Lane stand out. The flat lay system consists of two beams which are secured to the flat leg with a twist lock. With the lifting points at the end of each beam, the complete unit load can then be loaded using ceilings attached to the spreader of the container gantry crane. Typical cargo suitable for carriage using the flat lay system will range between 12 meters and 15 meters length and the weight of 34 tons. This is a video about container brake work shipment. It is a video of a shipping company called Oeni Ocean Network Express, which shows the content of loading bulk cargo on a container ship.